Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. Today we're going out to get the queen of the plecos. I've got five super red females in here and one male to go along with one male calico that I've been breeding for profit in this tank. I've sold all of the albino plecos that I have, including the breeding pairs, because I just want to focus on the calicos and the super reds now. This tank here has about 25 left of three month old fry. I've sold about 10. There's still a little bit on the small side, inch to an inch and a quarter, but I did sell a few in here. I've so got some blue shrimp in here as well. Upstairs, I've got another tank with about 35 fry, and I've been selling a bunch of cherry shrimp and some fancy guppies like those koi tuxedos lately as well. The hobbyist house that I visited has got an amazing collection, including 20 of these L46 zebra plecos. 8 adults and 12 more of fry that he's raised. This is his community pleco tank where he's got the L340 Mega Clown plecos in here. And after four years of trying, he's finally got the L239 Blue Panox spawning for the first time. And then right there, you've got the L260s. I've got to get some of those black rams. So here we are, I've got my five L260 Queen Arabessa, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, Pleco, which are gonna go in this tank right here, this 20 gallon long. Now we still have the clown loaches in the quarantine tank below, and yes, I do need to quarantine these fish, but this is a freshly cycled tank that is specifically for these fish. So they're gonna go in here, they're gonna be their forever home probably, I just have a molly in here and an albino pleco that are keeping this tank cycled. Now there's a few things we're going to have to do to modify this tank for these fish. Now we do have a AquaClear 50 running on the back here, but we're going to need to add some more flow because these fish love that flow. I'm either going to do a power head, which I do have, or I'm going to put another hang on back for the time being. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. Number two. The breeder that I got these from told me that he keeps them at 27 degrees Celsius, which is about 80 and a half. The heater I have in here is like one of those Aquion preset heaters that I can't adjust the temperature on. So right now this tank is sitting at 79 degrees, but sometimes it's down at 78. So I'm gonna have to do something about that heater too. I'm just not sure what yet. So there's three in here. There's two females, and I know that because the breeder told me that and there's one male in here. The other two over here, he wasn't sure yet. So we've got five. We know we have at least two females and one male. Outside of that, we're not sure yet. I've just released them after drip acclimatizing them. They are a little bit stressed, but hopefully everything goes smooth with them. They're a carnivore pleco, so they will be getting a lot of meats, like blood worms and brine shrimp and prawns, but I will mix in some zucchini into their diet because they will eat it. I've added a hang on back, which I put on the front right now, just for now, but I do have a sponge filter that I'm gonna replace that with. Could get the power head going, and I did replace that heater with an adjustable one. We've got it up to 80 and a half degrees now. So this is our temporary setup, not the finished product, but it's gonna be good enough for right now. Join me next week for another edition, Friday Fish Facts.